country to the nation of Israel. That's what this is about. Like, it's about Israel getting right, man. They're only going to do that for their elect. That's why the Lord has a certain sect of men, that only the remnant shall be saved. That they're going to do the right thing, man. Hey, it's like um, the, 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 the most I walking in the house and basically another man's fucking his woman. Oh, that, man. That's basically what it is oh. every day, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that's, like that. that's, if you want to put the anger in the, a nigga get angry when he finds out his yeah, woman's yeah, yeah. Getting, from, um, getting fucked by um, some uh, next nigga or multiple niggas. Yeah, they yeah, find yeah. out a bunch of niggas trying to train on your woman, oh. but then he gonna go, he gonna go um, celebrate Christmas. Yeah, 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 he, go, yeah. he goes church every Sunday and worships Caesar Bourget. Nigga, you getting gangbanged. You doing the same shit. Doing the same shit. So imagine if when, how angry you are when you find out niggas is running a train on your woman. Now think about the most high because Israel is the most high's woman. Yeah. And they, they, they've they been committing adultery. Been committing adultery. So imagine the anger that the most high has, man. Because it's the same thing. That's why the Lord said, you know, an adulterous nation, you know. Seek up after a sign. And a sign shall not be given, man. Last to them wicked ass niggas, um, the, Sadduc the Sadducarians I call them, man. The Sadducees. The wicked Sadducees and scribes that was in the Sanhedrin tonight, man. Sanhedrinites, man. That's what I call them. Sanhedrinites. The wicked ass <laughs> niggas, man. That's what they were doing. They wanted to seek after a sign. Yeah, Verse 19 says, Do they provoke me to anger, saith the Lord? Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man, and upon beast, and upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn and shall not be quenched. See, the Lord's not going to spare nothing. He ain't even going to spare the animals, man. They ain't even do nothing. They ain't going to spare the animals because of what these niggas are doing in Esau and what's going on. This. Look what the Lord did the first time, man. He flooded the whole earth. Saved eight people, man. A remnant of the animals. Yeah. A remnant of animals and eight people. You know what I'm saying? Just so they can survive. Because yeah. there's going to be nothing left on the earth. Nothing, man. But that, the, the Lord only needs a remnant. Oh, shit. Because um, in anything, I was, I was thinking about that, uh, doing some videos on the remnant. If you have you have like a, uh, you can have a whole tree. Yeah. You could destroy the whole tree and just save one seed. Yeah, look, you and then you, one can, you can um, repopulate from that one seed. Or, or you could just take a cutting, you could take a cutting off a tree and you know, put it in some water and um, make it root and destroy the whole tree. So the Lord only only needs a remnant of anything for it to, for it to, to survive. So it's nothing for the Lord to kill 99% or whatever. As long as you got that one percent, it don't matter, man. That's, what, that's basically what, yeah, that's basically what the Lord said. People are quick to forget, man. The Lord did flood the earth, man, and then only left Noah and, the, and his sons and their that's wives. Hell of a remnant, so that's it. Yeah. And they had to. The Lord didn't need to be um, millions of people on the earth. That's right. Populated. It was populated, man, because they were um, same nation. You had the, you had the thousand, thousand years. You had a thousand years, the seventh day, the, yeah, which is the seven, seven thousand. Yeah. So for a thousand years, men were having sex with women and yeah. and um. And populating even unto the time of um and the Lord made made um many people in the beginning anyway. So the, wa the waters brought forth abundantly and then they were multiplying. So by the time you gotta understand when you go back to the back to the flood, it was just like this. Yeah, yeah, same the thing. world was populated, man. That's why they find um, Pangea, Pangea over there in, in different parts of the world, they find underground underground yeah. underwater monuments. Yeah. They find pyramids on the water. Now we know we know ain't nobody from our side of the world built no pyramid on the on why is it there? Because that's a that's from the they were doing the same shit they they did after the, 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 the flood. Pretty much that's the same shit they were doing before the flood. Building monuments to false gods and being homosexuals and that's why they war. Were, yeah. They were you know killing and murdering and you know doing the same shit, but it's just stronger, <laughs> bigger and stronger. Yep. And that's why they even say that um, underground city, what they call it, Metropolis or whatever. Or like Atlantis. 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 Yeah, 
that that is basically yeah. talking that's about before yeah. before the flood. Yeah. 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 That's basically what that is because they're always talking about the underground city and that is. And they had technology. Yeah, they had technology back then. Yeah. How you think Noah built the ark? Man, it's developed, man. Oh. Knowledge was there. Yeah. No, the Lord gave knowledge, man. It might not have been the exact same technology. They might not have been busting guns, but they still had the knowledge in certain things. Yeah. Metal and the word, the word was all... It wasn't written down. This book wasn't written down yet. The word was all. So the sons of God was keeping the commandments to a certain extent until they went away, went, went away, fell away. The Lord destroyed them, man. Well, they had the Hebrew. They had the Hebrew. So that means that means they could they could write back then too. Right. Even though it was oral, they could write. They could write. Can I read this quick? Genesis chapter 6 verse 11 It says the earth was all, was, also was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence Are we not living in that same time? Is this, no, is this world not corrupt and is it not full of violence? Okay? Because this was the premise why the, the law sent the flood in the first place man Because it was corrupt and full of violence This world is exactly the same Okay, it's corrupted Okay, and it's full of violence man Nothing but war, death everywhere Okay? And God looked upon the earth and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. We're living in the exact same time, man. Sorry. No, and that's why another cleansing has to happen. The Lord said, there's no new thing under the sun. That's it. As in the days of old, so the same th things now. That's right. The same things they were doing now, the same things they were doing then. Bobby mentioned they were building pyramids and all that kind of stuff. The same things, man. Definitely, definitely. The same things. Definitely. And that's why this has, to, this has to occur, man. This, this, this fire that's going to yeah, occur yeah, has to happen. Oh, they were. Because the Lord is pissed oh, off right now, like he was pissed off back then. You guys forget about, you know, you talk about God is well, full of love and all that, man. But when God gets pissed off, man, don't fuck with him, you know? Because yeah, he will destroy you. you he's, he don't feel no way about destroying yeah. people, man. Yeah. Judgment, man. That's it. The Lord said there's no mercy in the time of judgment. He, he, he destroyed his own children. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing anyway. That's the best thing. When it. things get too corrupt, it's better to just uh, it's like, it's like format it. and reboot. Because why you want to live in a world... People, come on, man. Let's be honest, man. This world is fucked up, man. You know, you, most places you go in the world, it's nothing but injustice. People getting oppressed. You know, you, your, local, your local kingpin come in your house, fuck your wife. You got to eat it. Otherwise, mama... Cut your head off and burn your house down. You got all kind of uh, all kind of wickedness going on. Girls getting kidnapped, and sold into um, prostitution. That's that's heavy among our people. Among in South America, you know what I'm saying? Girls getting going into taken, yeah, being taken and put into prostitution. And a lot of a lot of the women that happen to are really Israelite women, man. Yeah. Like Eastern European women that happens to them. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them are, are, are Jake. Yeah, yeah. Recently they had that on the news, some Asian brothers. Recently they had that on the news about some Asian brothers must have been like kidnapping young girls yeah, yeah, from the age of 16 and above yeah, yeah, yeah. and they were just vandalising them man, raping them, doing all kinds of torture mechanisms and all that for 10 years long man, until they got caught and all that man. and there was a couple of men and women that were involved man. so that's what, and they could have been jakes, who knows but that's the curses on our people man that, that's the corruption, yeah, that's the corruption man. and all that you know, and that, that's still going on, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, don't. If we, we come out here and tell you the, the judgment that the Lord is coming to bring this place, man. You're all shocked and you can't understand. You can't seem to understand why. With things like Christmas and all them these, these high blind, wicked days, man. man there are corruptions on the earth, man. These are corruptions on the earth. Christmas causes more bad than it does good. Yeah, man. You're spending money that you don't. People don't get have, themselves man. into debt and all that kind of stuff into a worse position. Yeah. Just that shows you it's wickedness now. Which which high holy day in the scriptures is going to put you in a worse position? And when you, you know what I'm saying? Broken. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's wickedness, man. This whole this whole system is really death, man. So it needs to it needs to be destroyed, man. Because the scripture says when the righteous are rule, the people rejoice, man. Right now, people are suffering under this system, man. All kind of all kind of people, family members getting murdered. No one ain't know how how where or when. They're getting away with people are getting away with murder. People are getting put in jail for murder and getting put to death, and they didn't even do it, man. There's all kinds of war going on on the earth and you want to celebrate some wicked ass Christmas and say everything's blessed. Yeah. They know it's Christmas. You don't even know what's yeah, going yeah, on yeah, yeah. Man. Like the brother said, it's like you have to hit that format and reboot button, man. When you got a computer and it catches a virus, the only way to cleanse that shit is you got to reboot that then shit. Work then it will work again, man. Fresh. That's what the Lord's going to do. He's going to have a fresh start. That's right. You know, and, the, and the world is going to be good. It's going to be yeah. right. It's going to be beautiful. Everything's going to work. The, the family, there's actually going to be families on. Right now, there ain't no families on earth. Man, you got individuals. You got relatives. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 for millions. Yeah, you got for millions. I hate, I hate Hey, but right now, come on, man. Listen, man, life is simple, man. People have gone away from the simplicity of life, which is really the beauty of life. Having a good meal, you know, chilling and, you know, interactions with people. Now it's all about your ass. Yeah, complicated lost. shit. You're, you're lust and greed and your you damn mobile phone. Yeah. By the end of the day, all that shit don't mean nothing if you don't have love among each other, man. And, and the most high, is so. And the most, which that comes from the most high, because how do, how do you know how to love? Yeah. The scriptures teach you how to love. How do you love your brother? You, you guys just say, oh, you just love your brother, like it's just a, just just a fucking. Yeah. No, how do you. You don't fuck his wife. Yeah. You don't, you don't steal from him. Don't convert. In, in scriptures say, in, um, that. that all the law hangs upon love your love your brother as you love yourself and love the heavenly father. So these guys all come at us trying to shoot love love bullets on us when really they're hateful. They don't love they're they don't really practice, hateful, they don't man. They don't, practice, they don't practice love. We we're trying to promote a world that that deals with love. Love a man and a, a man is gonna have love for his wife, the wife is gonna lo love the the, the, the the husband, and it all works in beauty beauty and and no one ain't against that. No one ain't said you have to hate your wife. The scriptures say you're supposed to love your wife. Yeah, no one ain't saying you're supposed to hate your kids. How the fuck you gonna hate your kids? This is Joel, chapter but, three. But well, you've got to have order, man, time. in order for that mechanism to work, which is with what is found within the law. It's life, man. People don't get that. They think we're trying to we're trying to bring an evil world. Yeah. Like we're trying to bring an evil, sadistic world. Because we don't like faggots. First of all, faggots are demons, man. Like, they're crazy people walking among you. Like, yeah. if you can stick your dick in a man's anus, then what won't you do? I'll, I'll, I'll put it like that. If you if you're that mentally deranged, if, that you're a woman and you think that you belong with another woman, yeah. then what won't you do? Or, uh, first of all, you like to talk about. Hitler and Hitler was a faggot, and I can understand why, because the dude was crazy. Faggots are crazy. Well, he's man. a rough child, isn't he? Look at jail. Jail is full of faggots. Sadistic, crazy bastard. No morals, man. It's a sickness, though. It is a mental sickness, man. You know, being a faggot and all that. Because that's what he used to um, say back in the day that it's a mental deficiency kind of sickness, and that, you know, it should be rid get rid of. But now everyone's endorsing it. It is a it's, it's mental Sick. retardness, man. You, yeah, you really got sickness in the mind. You're playing with demons, man. You want to get destroyed. Destroyed, man. So we don't we don't want to hear you coming with that love thing because we deal with love, but we deal with hate too. We hate the evil way. We hate yeah. error. Hate, hate the evil, love the we good. Hate the evil and love the good. Yeah. Nothing but good can Balance. come from it, man. Balance. Look at look at the look at the situation of of just Jake in general and told me that that all that love talk you're talking about is working. Your, your daughter's a slut. Your son is a gang banging piece of shit. A lot of these niggas now don't even want to work. They don't even have a work ethic, man. They don't want to get a job. They'd rather sling drugs than get get a job and work with their hands. They won't want to be carpenters. They don't want to do nothing productive. They just want to fuck around or be a poet or some shit. Be a rapper. You know, a thug poet. You know what I'm saying? Your wife totally out of order, messing up. And these niggas are out of order too. They're fucking around, man. So what, what's productive? What's really going on, man? Yeah. What's really good? How are you fixing the problem? How are you doing? Nothing but problems. Our people have got nothing but problems, man. This is the only way out of the problem. Hey, you get it? The scripture, I am the way, the truth. This, this, the brother said it. Lord's the way, the truth, and the light. This is the way out of the problem, man. But other people don't acknowledge it, man. You don't want to acknowledge it, so you're going to have to learn by, by, by fire, man. Your dick is hurting, your dick is burning. Oh, you know why your dick is burning? Because you got you fucking around with holes. Yeah, We're supposed to live in a society of nobility, a society of structure and order where a man gets a wife. That's the basic, but we can't even do that right. We can't even do that simple thing right. Nah, a nigga gotta go clubbing and that's why the elders say, you know what the hell with that clubbing shit, man? But that clubbing shit, we ain't gonna be doing that in the kingdom, man. Going out, having one night stands. Rubbing up with another man's gallon. You know, well, come on, man. Yeah, that's that nigga, that nigga and whole um, dynamic. That needs to go, man. There ain't nothing. No, what can you produce from that? Badass kids. Yeah, watch it, man. Oh, how did how did you meet how did you meet mommy? Oh, I, met, I fucked her in the, in the toilet. Some toilet in the club somewhere, and the nut hold it. Yeah, in the car park. Uh, what are you gonna get from that? What are you gonna produce from that, man? That's a grimy gremlin, man. That's crazy. Bad suits, man.
Now, now you got you got a situation where they were sorry, sorry, we you got a situation where they were befrothed and all that, and they, they got the laws and everything's doing. Then you are gonna get good children. It's John chapter fourteen verse six. Yahweh shall I say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. That's right. That's right. Life. Yeah. The scriptures is life. The law is a lamp of light, man. You want to live when, in a utopian when, society? When that, um, to this. this is the utopian society. It's a society where where people don't steal, people don't uh, murder, and, and and if these things do occur, there's going to be justice meet, meted out, man. Yeah. 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 As a nation, will stand by that judgment, man. Because <laughs> they learn to serve true justice. Come on, this ain't no justice in this. They make some, but ain't no justice in this world. There ain't no justice. Injustice, if man. There was like just I said last time, you go to the courts, which the whole system of the courts is built up on fraud anyway. Yeah, and you got it's a corrupt judgment. And you got to go before the unjust and, and get judged by them, man. Yeah. For, for a little, little, little mishap or mistake that you did. And, the and they're going to judge you. Come down to you like ten tons of bricks yeah. when their whole system do all corruption, man. You know, you know, they ain't worthy to judge here. That's hypocrisy, man. That same, that they ain't same to judge. That same judge is going to the Philippines and popping yeah, right. yeah, ways and, and shit. The, the one judges, that gives you ten years. All the judges are a bunch of women, man. The whole, the whole, the whole plant is and all that. There's a bunch of women trying to judge niggas and all that. No, you don't fucking. That's out of order. That's out of order, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll get this is um Jeremiah March the six. Uh, verse 10 <coughs> to whom shall i speak and give warning that they may hear behold their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken people don't want to hear the truth man okay they don't want to hear about the errors okay they don't they don't, they don't want to hear that this place has to be destroyed you know that nothing but wickedness comes from the society yeah, they'll fight to the very end for this society man well, you know what it comes down to the scriptures tell you they're blind they grow up in um that's really what it is they're blinded from the truth because the lord could open their eyes up they would see the truth because the truth is really evident man is it not evident that the way they're living is fucking up shit yeah, man. Yes. yes, it is. Sorry, it's is it not like evident? Yes, it is. So the word that's used is cannot hearken. Not will not hearken. It can. It cannot hearken. Because the Lord has made it like that way, man. Uh, you know? The Lord don't want them. Okay, they're going to get saved ultimately. The Lord don't really want them to be his followers, man, because they're wicked, corrupt. And it, made, it, it serves a purpose. That's right. Ultimately, it's the will of the Heavenly Father because that's how he went. The Lord could have had it where all Israel woke up. But it ain't gonna serve the purpose of his um, story. That, that, that's all it is. Because the scripture tells you quite clearly that the creature was made subject unto vanity, man. The all Israelites are of the righteous seed. It says Joel 12, and I'll start from 22. It says, He discovereth deep things out of darkness, bringing out light, bringing out to light the, um, the shadow of death. He increaseth the nations and destroyeth them. He enlarges the nations and straighteneth them again. And that's what we're going through now. When the Lord's going to straighten up this, this earth again, man. The nations that are ruling in corruption and wickedness. So you're going to put them through hardships and they're going to have to serve the penalty of the wickedness that they were doing on the earth, man. And that's slavery, man. That's just that's, that's justice, man. It's justice. You know what I'm saying? God wills it. Take control. Take control. Which is, which is, uh, and at the end of the day, people get all butt hurt about it. But they're gonna be alright. See that this is only uh, to make a point. This whole, this whole thing ultimately was to glorify the name of the heavenly Father. Because the Lord didn't have to do it like this. The Lord could have just had it where everybody was just righteous from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, but it's boring. That's too boring. The Lord likes it. You know the word fear that goes back to the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes back to the Lord God. He's the most high. He likes adventure. He likes um, adversity. He likes, he likes war. He's a man of war, man. He likes to see these things, man. It's, it, like, it's entertaining to the Lord. A man that has no beginning or no end, man. You know, he's got to do things to entertain himself, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a little story, man. Because the, story. Fact, the fact that you got an elect is glorifying the spirit and the power of the Heavenly Father. Because you, we can actually see that is the most high. You guys get proud just because you know the truth. But first of all, why do you know the truth? But this guy can't get it. That's why the Lord's it. It's, it's the most high. 
didn't kill you. He didn't get you, so it's the most, it has to be the most, because he's trying to beat it into a nigga's head. And then he can just, he can't get it. It's, and, and it's plain, it's, 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 it's obvious, man. When you see what our people are doing, you're like, man, these people are in a trance. Niggas selling drugs in the corner. Uh, 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 even um, uh, 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 Sheik Luch, the majority of the yeah, he, he had a lyric, and he was like, yeah, um, I, yeah, I knew the effects of the packs, the, uh, the virus. Um, still pushing on my block, ain't no slacking on my shit. Yeah, so hold on, you're admitting that you know that this shit is Fucked up. And it's fucked up, but you're still doing it. Now you told me, you told me that ain't the most I ain't put a, 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 a mental block on a nigga, man. Because a nigga do the same bullshit expecting a different result. That's insanity, man. You know, a nigga selling drugs when they wonder why you end up in jail. Yeah, we're dead. Or death. So no, no niggas ever made it from a drug. Drug lifestyle and just lived forever and shit. Happy ever after. Happy, happy ever after. No, that doesn't happen, man. They all either on the run or they, you know, they all getting chased they down. They get shot. Serving gets, life. Yeah, they probably gets killed off. Something bad is always happening, man. You ain't gonna enjoy it with that money that you're making, man. Cause it's blood money, man. You're not gonna let you enjoy that. All, all, all that quick lifestyle, that joy, joyous moments, man. That's balanced out by death. <laughs> no, that's what it is, man. Cause you didn't live a righteous life, man. It was wicked, so wicked, wickedness came to you, man. You know, death came to you. Yeah, it ain't Evil. cool, man. That, yeah, that, 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 um, that gangster lifestyle, that's delicious and shit. That ain't cool, man. That's, that's retarded as hell, man. That's retarded as hell. And that's why the other nations look at us like we're retarded people, man. Because we actually glorify killing each other, man, in, in mass. Just thinking that, right? And they don't do that. Yeah, the other nations, other nations don't, do don't do that shit. It's only our nation that really does that. Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans. We're the only ones that really do that. But something about that, about killing each other and, you know, getting over it. Other nations don't do that shit, man. And glorify it. They just copy us because they think that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could Jake make, you know, yeah. you know, Jake can make it. Yeah, yeah. Because Jake, Jake's, you know, the form of... Put it in a rap video, you know what I mean? That's it. It's cool, man. It's cool. I'm a fucking idiot. Stupid idiot, man. But, yeah, let me carry on. So, verse 20, um, Joel 12 and 24. So he taketh away, he taketh away the chief of the people of the earth, and causeth them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. They group in dark without light, and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man. And that, yeah. So ultimately, everything that's happening, um, even with the nation of Israel, is really to glorify. The, the name of the Heavenly Father, man. That's why ultimately the Lord's still gonna save all Israel. Yeah. Because, you, you know, man, you, you gotta, I mean, you get, we, we're above, you, when you come into the truth, you start moving above the storyline and start seeing the script as it is, man. Like, like, like the apostles are saying, you, you know, how, how angry can you get at a nigga? Because yeah, at the end of the day, you're like, well, that's nigga story, just yeah. you know, nigga's just blinded. He just gonna have to die. That's all it is. You know, ultimately he's playing his role. There's nothing he yeah, can do about that. You can't save him. You can't save him. angry like we can save him. We can't, we can't do that. He's playing his part in the character of the story. That's what it is. When in the kingdom, the scripture says, our people shall be all righteous. Why? Because, because we just decided to know it's Mosai. A remnant. But it begins with a remnant, which the fact that Mosai is saving a remnant glorifies his name. That's how you know it's the Mosai. But he has to have an example. The most I always deals with balance and example. What's your religion? It's the Bible. It's the Bible. Have you got any questions on that side? Yeah. 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 Oh, I was just going to put What's the pieces What's that? Like, it's a Muslim thing. It's uh, Jeremiah 10 and 6 it says, um, To whom will I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears are uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, their, their ears are uncircumcised, man. And they can't, they can't hearken, man. They're stuck. They're stuck, stuck on man. Stupid. On stupid, man. Yeah. That's why you, you're wasting your time. You see a guy can't get it. Yeah. You really, you're, you're just there to fulfill your role because it's written in the scriptures that whether they hear or forbid. I mean, that's, that's what it is, man. You know, there's no point losing your mind because at the end of the day, they just gonna have to die. Lord will, you're of the elect. They're gonna come back in the kingdom, and that's it. Even these other nations, they're gonna go into slavery. We're gonna put the appropriate punishment. For after a thousand years, they just. 
they, they're going to be all right. They're going to have the benefit of living in paradise. <laughs> you know? Because they're going to, except for Esau, obviously. He's going he's gonna to be out of there. Yeah, he's Lord willing, man. Yeah, yeah, but but you're, yeah you're a ruthless cunt, you are, Esau. <laughs> yeah, you're a ruthless cunt. You've got no time for Edom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snatched out. It says, Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. Snatched out. They have no delight in it. Therefore, I am full of fury of the Lord. I am weary of holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken, the age with him that is full of days. Even the husband with the Yo, wife, man. Country. Whole families the most high is going to call, man. Whole families, man. But that's all to glorify his name, man. He said it, two thirds are going to be put to death. That's the judgment. And then you're going to have an elect, a remnant that's going to be saved through faith, through belief in him, which is which makes the most beautiful point. And what is the what is the end point of the whole situation? The most high, he's the most high. He's the ultimate. That's really when you break it down, what's the end of the whole story? What does it mean at the end of the day? How did the elect get saved? Because they believed in the most high. They believed he is the most high. That's how it has to be. You know what I'm saying? It's all about glory. That's why when you see these niggas getting all proud and glorifying themselves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they don't want to glorify the name of the Heavenly Father. Really, they don't know what these scriptures are all about. They really don't know what the scriptures are. Ultimately, it's all about glorifying the Heavenly Father. Hey, the scripture says, and they shall know me. How are you going to know? That means we know the Father. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it's all about. You're, you're gonna know that you have, and you're gonna know that you have a shirt, man. That's right. You're gonna know that they exist. Yeah, they've been existing. They've been here from the beginning. Yeah, that's what you're gonna find out, man. That's right. All you doubters that wanna doubt and take the piss out of the most high and the sun, you're gonna find out, man. You're gonna find out what's really going on. So, and you're gonna be ashamed of your damn self, man. Yeah, that's right. But, hey, yeah, they're, yeah. Gonna, they're gonna learn. They're gonna learn, they're gonna learn man. But the name of the Lord is going to be glorified. And that's the main thing. The name of the Lord being glorified is, is what, it's, what it's really all about. Just, he is the most high. This is his son. That's it. That's it. You know? Niggas get proud. Oh, I'm an Israelite. Okay, good. Good, you're an Israelite. But this ain't about Israel. It's about the name of the, the, name of the Heavenly Father being glorified, man. Really, ultimate. Because the elect are not going to be saved because just because they're Israel. They're really being saved to make a point. Look, these, I'm saving them, why? Because they believed on me. They believed I am the most high. So you should do the same. That's, that's the, that's the, that, uh, you know? That's the how it's meant to be, man. You know? Believe faith, and that's why faith is such a beautiful, what is faith, man? Faith is ultimately, you believe in the most high for who he is, man. That's the difference between the elect and the rest of the planet. The rest of the planet don't really believe in the Most High and what he can do. We believe, if you're of the elect, you believe the Most High can do all things and he's gonna fulfill his word. And that lesson is gonna be learned, man. Once, once America's destroyed, that lesson is gonna be learned. It's just the elect are learning it first. Yeah. You got the heads up. <laughs> yeah, they got the heads up. Oh, the Most High? Oh, you didn't know? You didn't, you didn't get the memo? <laughs> hey, go on, you go. I'm okay. Uh, this is we're going to close up soon. We're going to bring up more pieces. Yeah, um... This is Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 38. Yeah. So I will purge out from among you the rebels. Yeah, right. Two thirds. Two thirds. The rebels amongst the so-called Israelite teachings of schools, man. The different schools, different branches. Like teaching madness. Then you got IUIC. Because all these other niggas, they're sold out, basically, man. And they ain't really true worshippers of the Lord. Really, they, they come with their vain words. And they ain't sincere, man. So they're gonna have to get, they're gonna have to get destroyed. They're gonna have to get destroyed, because they know better. It's worse. It's worse when you know the truth, and you're teaching lies, than if you didn't know, man. You know? It's actually even worse, man. So them niggas like IUIC, Gehenna, all these different schools of bark, they're gonna get their judgment, man, because they know better, man, but they just didn't want to do better. 
They wanted to do what they wanted to do, right? For their greedy, for the greed, whatever the fuck it was. Well, and any of them no that pay. resist the truth. Yeah. Because we're here, these, these knockheads, man, they will pass, they get they the opportunity here. Yeah. And they hear, you know, but they reject it. Reject it. You know, but they do know. You know, you know, we, we, we know, we wash the blood off our hands yeah, yeah, by yeah. doing that. That's what we are here to do also, to, to warn our people. Yep. Okay, but, you know, they, they reject the truth, man. Okay, so their judgment, they're going to receive their judgment. Right. You know? And that includes all you Christmas worshippers as well. That's it. Because that's the topic of the day. That's it. Talk about all these pagan holidays and that. All you worshippers, whether you're Israel or not, our nation, they're going to get judged too, man. Because they're partaking in wickedness, man. At the end of the day. And the Lord said not to do these things, man, on the earth. So everyone's going to get their judgment, man. That's right. You know, you know we, in the scripture here, you tell, you know, it says, oh, purge out the, from you the rebels. Yep. They're just rebellious. Rebels, man. But we tell you, uh, Christmas and all these, these, these wicked right. satanic days, they, they're evil, man. And that the Lord don't delight in them. Okay? And that the Lord's going to destroy you, man, if you don't repent and, and, and come from, from them ways. You know what I mean? But you, re you rebel. You rebel against every father and his word. You know? The rebellion is going to purge you. Yeah. It's going to purge you, man. It's going to purge you. It says, And I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress, transgress against me. I will bring them forth out of the country where they, they sojourn, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord. That's it, man. That's it. Like the brother said, that's the two thirds, man. Yeah. They ain't going to get to the Yeah, because rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. So, witchcraft is what they're upholding society. So that's rebellion, man. The rebellion against the, against the Most High Son. Because you don't want to uphold the transgression of the laws, man. So that's why the judgment's coming. That hand, that hand, the God hand, so to speak, is going to come down, man. The judgment's going to come out, man. You're, you're unadulterated death and destruction, man. And all these heathen, heathen worshippers out here. That's what's going to happen, because we have to come out of that. The Lord said, love not the world, neither the things that are in it. You know what I'm saying? So we have to come out of the customs of the world. The different these customs are just like demons and that, man. We have to come out of the customs, man. You have to, you have to uh, you know, replenish your mind, man. You know? Become new. Put off the old man. All that. That's when you put off the old man, you get you stop doing all the customs of the world. You follow not the way of the heathen. You know, you follow the way of the scriptures. The most high high holy days, the Passover, the Sabbaths, you know. Feast of Tabernacles, all these different high holy days, man. Purim, Hanukkah, those are the high holy days that you're supposed to be upholding. Not no damn Christmas, man. 